Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. First, I want to address, yes, I know I sound like shit. Once again, I have a sore throat um, and a bit of a cough. And two, yes, I know I look like shit, but we'll be fixing up that later in the video. Today, I'm going to try something new on my channel. I'm going to be doing like a little makeup testing. I kind of did it with the setting spray, but it was just setting spray. Now, I'm actually going to be applying like some real makeup on my face to see if it lasts all day and see if the hype is, you know, worth it. Now, this product I'm going to be talking about, the hype has died down, but like a couple months ago, like every like big YouTuber was talking about this. Like, it was fucking crack, I don't know. Like, it was, like, apparently the best drugstore foundation for $5. And if you haven't guessed what it is yet, it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, right here. I finally picked it up from Walmart. Like I said earlier, I've seen this on a lot of different YouTubers' channels, them trying it out, and they were all really impressed by it. So I decided, why not me, a regular, regular, schmegular girl, just try it on for you guys, check in with y'all later, and see if, you know, the claims are true. Now, the reason why this was so hype was because it gives a good amount of coverage, it's really cheap, and it apparently doesn't give off any flashback. I'm not really too worried about the flashback, to be honest, because I didn't buy the setting powder that came with this, so if there is flashback... I'm not gonna fucking scream at this. It's not its fault. It's probably the powder I'm using. I don't know. But yeah, I have high hopes for this. I love wearing drugstore foundation. My favorites are the L'Oreal Pro Glow and the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth foundation. Those are my top two. I've never tried a Wet n Wild foundation. I don't even know if they made foundation before this. Also, just to give you guys an idea of what I'm doing today to test this, I'm going to the doctor because... <coughs> Hello? And then afterwards, I'm going to the gym because my summer body is far from ready and I really need to work on it. Right now, I have absolutely no makeup on my skin, so I'm just going to start off by moisturizing my skin with this Oveeno Clear Complexion Daily Moisturizer. Also, um, for people who are curious about my skin, I would say I have normal skin, maybe a bit leaning towards the dry side. My problem area is my nose. Foundation just does not stick on my nose, concealer, nothing. It always breaks away at this area. I don't know why I tried different primers. Maybe I need to find a really good primer. But yeah, it is kind of annoying. So if this foundation could stay on my nose, I'll be shook. But I won't be mad if it's not because even my expensive high-end high-end my expensive Sephora foundation doesn't last on my nose. And now I'm going to prime my face with the Benefit Professional. So now that I have all that on, I usually would put on eyeshadow, but since I'm not doing anything special today, like, what's the point? So I'm just going to hop into this foundation. I got it in the shade Amber Beige, which is medium dark with a neutral undertone. Hopefully this is my color. If it's not, then you're probably not watching this video because I'm just going to fucking scrap it. I don't want to look like an idiot on YouTube. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little spatula. So yeah, I guess you're just supposed to put the spatula on your face like that. I really don't know what I'm doing right now. So yeah, I just put the spatula all over this side of my face. And I'm going to blend it out with a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I'm not really a fan of the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. I like the Beauty Blender better, but I need to buy a new Beauty Blender that's like $20. This is only, uh, what, like... Five dollars and it does the same thing so fuck it <laughs> this is like my shade I think it's a little darker but it's okay Oh yeah, here's one side of my face with the foundation, one side without. And I think for one layer, it has done a pretty good job at covering. Like, you don't see, like, I'm usually a little pink here. You don't really see that. And you don't really see the veins on my cheeks. You can't really see the veins on my eye that much, but it is still a little discolored. Like, I would really go in with that later. But yeah, I'm going to put the other side of my face, which is a bit more veiny. I don't know if you guys can see how I'm it in. Yeah, as you can see, I have, like, serious veins on the side of my face. So yeah, I'm going to go in with that using a brush to see if it provides more coverage. It smells like, kind of like paint. I don't know, like, not like 
like if like if sunscreen and paint had a baby this is what that's what this smells like and I'm low-key scared that the spatula is gonna drip on my clothes and I'll be tight as hell but nah it's not that runny but it's good okay now I'm gonna blend this out using a real techniques um, expert face brush because I'm an expert <laughs> Sorry, I'm not don't listen to me okay I'm just gonna rub that in whoa yeah it, it looks like it's providing way more coverage but since this isn't exactly my skin color it looks a little sus so yeah I just blended it out using the brush and I'm really surprised because usually like with the running foundations I've noticed when you use a brush it kind of just makes it kind of streaky and like you can see the brush strokes which is not a good look but this actually blended out really nicely with this brush and it made it a bit more full coverage you don't see like the veins or discoloration on my cheek which is nice so yeah I think you blend this out with a brush or a sponge because this finish is nice either way I think I'm gonna add one more layer to see how much coverage I would get out of this usually I would just leave it like this but for the sake of the video I'm gonna add one more layer and blend it out with a beauty blender So I just added another layer and as you can see this does provide a really nice decent amount of coverage and I don't know if it's because I just applied it but I like the slight dewiness because like I said I do kind of have dry skin so I like going for that dewy look but it'll probably go away once I set it with powder and shit. So yeah here's it with the powder on and I think it layered really nicely. I think this is really like full coverage like it provides a good amount of coverage. I can still kind of see like my little beauty marks peeking through but that's I I am mad at it so yeah I'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera and that'll take two seconds since I'm gonna edit it out so yeah be right back alright guys well I'm done now and right now I'm loving this foundation it didn't slip around when I added like blush and bronzer and stuff it's still intact it still looks really nice of course the only gripe I have with it, which isn't the foundation's fault, is the fact that it's not my color. This is like me when I have a tan, so I just need a color match better next time. Dur -dur -dur. As you saw earlier, I set it with setting powder, and I also finished my face off with some setting spray, the Maybelline uh, Master Fix. I'm actually testing this out too, I just bought it. I don't know if it actually is good. So yeah, I'm just going to zoom you guys in so you can see how the foundation looks on my skin. As you can see, this foundation just makes my skin look flawless. Um, it's taken out that pinkness I have on my cheeks. You don't really see the veins on my cheeks either. None of my eyelids either. So yeah, hopefully I look this cute later today after the doctor and the gym. I mean, after the doctor I might look good, but the gym... Damn, that's a real test. So yeah, hopefully I can do some check-ins when I'm out and about. The only reason why I'm kind of against it is because since I'm going to be in public, you know, I don't want people looking at me like I'm a psycho or I'm like really narcissistic, you know what I mean? Just taking out the camera and like, hey guys, so my foundation looks really like I don't want to be caught doing that. That's just really embarrassing, but we'll see what I can do. I'll definitely come back home, obviously, and record how my face looks. So... I'll be back later guys, or two seconds, however long this transition is. Also, I forgot to mention that the time this took place was 9.45 a.m., which is important to let y'all know considering I did check-ins later in the day. And yes, I did do the flashback test. Keep in mind, I did set my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the shade 310 Sun Bathe. And together with the foundation, it made my skin look smooth, poreless, and yes, most importantly, there was no flashback. So, so far, everything was looking pretty good. Hey guys, I'm in the doctor. I gotta make this quick before they come in, but yeah, foundation, looking good. Hey guys, oh my god. Hey guys, so I just got home. Excuse my surroundings, I know my house is a mess. Um, I spent about an hour at the doctor, don't worry, not gonna die, hopefully not anytime soon. And then I also went to the gym, spent an hour there, did a lot of running and stuff. And I think the foundation has held up pretty nicely, let's get uncomfortably close. Yeah, I mean, it still has provided a good amount of coverage, 
except for the fact that I accidentally freaking scratched it off, like, right here, and that's really bugging me. I don't think it's really rubbed off my nose, actually. I think maybe just, like, a little strip, but it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed, and keep in mind, I was, like, running and sweating and doing all that stuff, walking around the sun, and, yeah. The only gripe I have with it is that... It's obviously not my shade, and it kind of bugs me, but whatever, it'll look good in the summer when I'm tanner. Also, it doesn't feel, like, sticky or doesn't really itch me, because sometimes foundations make my skin a bit itchy, I guess, because I have dry skin. But this one feels really nice, feels like I kind of have, like, nothing on, which is always good. Another thing that bugged me was I had to undress, and... Yeah, I got some foundation on my damn bra, which doesn't bug me too much because it's my bra, so no one's really going to see it. But don't you hate it when you're, like, in a dressing room and you have to undress and you get foundation on your shirt or the clothes you're trying on? So just some advice, if you have to undress, just pull this as far away from your face as you possibly can because, ugh, I hate makeup stains. But, yeah, guys, that's basically it. I'll check in with you guys later. Typically, after I you know leave from the gym i like to take a shower but for today for this video sake i want to test the wearability of this so i'll probably check in with you guys when the sun goes down i'm not really going to be doing much anymore I'm probably just going to be lazy at home and shit so yeah i'm definitely going to change these clothes though because i feel sweaty and disgusting but yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit Hey guys, so it's 6 15. It's my final check-in for today. I apologize for my other check-ins being whack But now I'm gonna tell you guys my final thoughts on this foundation now that I've thought about it and sat Right now. I do not like the look of it. I look very oily and I'm not even an oily person so Yeah, that's just weird. I'm actually gonna try to blot that off right now and hopefully um, I look better now. I know it could probably be because I worked out earlier But I'm really not that much of a sweaty person to be this Shiny like what the hell now? I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you could see I look really really fucking shiny right now Other than that, I think it held up pretty well as far as coverage goes there are some spots like my chin and my nose that kind of looks a little rubbed off, but it's not that bad and also I feel like it did oxidize a bit during the day but it was already dark to begin with so now as far as if I would recommend this I think this is a pretty decent foundation and it's five dollars so you really can't go wrong however it didn't really amaze me like these youtubers make it sound like it's the best foundation ever for just five dollars it's really not I think it's pretty standard for a drugstore foundation for a foundation to really impress me I don't expect it to look this worn down after like five to eight hours of wear but um, if you want something light and natural which I tend to gravitate to I think this is pretty good but for some reason it just makes me feel really like oily I don't know also it doesn't give off flashback which is good because that's one of its big claims and it has one fluid ounce of product it's cruelty free and I checked their shade range and I mean it looks diverse but really it's just a lot of beige and then a couple dark shades and a couple really light shades so I mean I guess it's okay if you fall on the beige spectrum so would I recommend this yeah it's okay but it's not like as hype as these youtubers are making it sound you know I was expecting to look fucking flawless and full coverage all day you know so I am a bit let down but like I said it's only five dollars so what the hell by the way guys if you hear like old school hip-hop in the background sorry that's my dad I guess he's reliving the old days but yeah that's basically it those are my thoughts on this foundation let me know what you thought of this style of video because I would actually like to continue making more testy kind of videos for you guys. I'm sorry I've been posting so shittily, shittily, shit, shit lately. I want to start clicking out at least two videos a week, which is hard because I'm not that creative, but I'm going a, I'm to a figure something out. But yeah, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you all soon. Peace.